This application uses the Gradio-based UI where you load the model, use the prompt to create images. And the prompts which use to create image can be accessed again and you can select all the previous prompts as well as the all the previous images which are generated earlier. Application specific settings can be updated, changed depending on your application specific need. The prompt which we have used can be altered by adding the various settings. Here is the base prompt. Now we are adding it a concept art with illustrations. You can also update the same prompt and change it to see how the Leonardo da Vinci would have conceptualized it. Now you can add the Vincent Van Gogh based on design. You can also change it to depend on particular artist or the design such as 3D or the funny looking image or looks like the painting or photo and all the images which you have generated you have ability to access go back in time and access them and reuse the prompt and that's all done in this application for you to learn how to enhance your prompt to generate a better image along with the prompt created using your microphone so audio to text to prompt to image and there are many more things you can do with this radio based UI on top of stability diffusion models. Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. I have decided to create the radio based UI on top of stable diffusion implementation based on TensorFlow models based on three main reasons. First, you will have a way to learn how you could create the radio based UI on top of stable diffusion models which you could get easily from hugging face repo first second reason i just wanted to show you that how easy it is for you or anyone to create the ui so that you could use the stable diffusion models the way you want my ui which i have created in this project is quite similar to these two different projects and the third thing i wanted to do in this application is that ability to show you that how you could build a very simple application and generate really very dynamic prompts so that you can create image and and all of these images as well as the prompts are saved on your disk so you can back you can go back into the time and you can select whatever image was has been created earlier and what was the prompt specific to that certain image so you will have a lot to learn in this radio based application to create your own ui on top of stable diffusion models specific to tensorflow in this first part of the video i will i'm just going to give you a very quick details about the application capabilities what it can do where the different functions are how different tabs are created and what is the functions specific to each tab and how everything works In this example, we start with loading the model. The models are already downloaded. So first we load the model and then using the command prompt, we are generating a particular image. An astronaut is driving a Jeep on the moon and that's the image. There are various options available in order to update additional information to your prompt. So you could generate various kinds of image the same application also saves the prompt as well as the image as we could see in this third tab all the images which have been generated are saved and looking into the very last image you could see that what was the last image here is the last image with the prompt and other properties so if you would want to change anything in your prompt you could change here and once the image will be generated that will be also available to check it later. So this is how we are trying to save everything which we have generated so that we could look after when there is a need. And finally, here are the image generation specific settings. And all of these settings are depending on the stable diffusion TensorFlow model implementation. 
So for example, if we change this prompt from an astronaut is driving a motorcycle, let's run it. Here is the different image with a little change in the prompt. If we would convert to a particular art style as a concept art, which look like illustration. So by adding these two prompts, let's generate the image again. Here, the same image has been changed completely because we have asked it to become an illustration as well as the concept art. If you would want to add the artist choice, the design as conceived by the Leonardo da Vinci and keep the concept art plus illustration as well. Let's check it. This is what the image would have been conceived by the Leonardo da Vinci. Now, if you would change its flavor from Leonardo to the Vincent van Gogh, let's see how it changes. So this is how you could see that would have conceived by the Vincent van Gogh. If we do not use any of the artist, but if you would want to make the same image as a funny, could be the 3D style, remove the concept art and make it to a painting. And if you would want to add the color choice, we could say, can we make it more golden as well as keep it sharp? Let's check it out. And here is the painting in a 3D style, which is also have a flavor of being funny. So as you could see that we have a lot more opportunity to build various images. But the best thing with this application is that you can actually go back into the time and you can load all the previously created image and you can walk them through. So the very latest last image is the image 23rd. And that was our prompt. We can go back to 22nd. We can look into what was the previous images. We can look into the 21st image. One very important thing I have done is that I have also created the support for record from your a microphone it means that if you have microphone you can actually record your prompt directly here so let's see a demo so our prompt will be an astronaut is riding a horse on moon an astronaut is riding a horse on moon let's create the prompt by clicking here and we are using the hugging face transformer to take the audio and convert it to the text so let's fix it if there are any issues. So an astronaut is riding a horse on moon. Let's remove all of the settings. So there is no artist choice. There is no photo. So just keep it very basic. And now you could see that you could create the prompt just by using your voice and add multiple settings as needed. And here is the output image. I do not see a horse honestly here. And if we change from moon to a futuristic planet similar to Pandora, let's try. Here you go. Now the reference has been changed. And because of that, we have got a much better image. The basic image settings are the default one, but you could actually change some of these settings such as temperature or the scale as well as the steps and the random value as well as you can also change the batch size. So I will be keeping the batch size as one, updating the setting, coming back and just changing this image to a futuristic, make it animation style. We can also add looks like a Final Fantasy and let's try it again. And here is the final output. The full code related to this project is available at this DeepWorks GitHub repo. You can visit to very first URL here, Stable Diffusion GUI. The code for this whole project I have put in this web UI code full. 
and the stable diffusion tf tensorflow specific code is coming out from stable diffusion tensorflow this github repo from the divam gupta so i have used the same code and added the web ui and the backend.py so the backend.py is actually connected with the web ui so this is the code where we are loading the model here we are updating the settings here we are displaying the current image and here is the code which actually generate the image based on the prompt and here are some of these presets some of these stable diffusion specific settings and other code which really needs in order to build this application where how we are updating the json saving and the retrieving the image as well as the previous prompt so all the code related to the gradio ui is all depend on these two files backend.py as well as the web ui.py the connection to the original stable diffusion tensorflow code has still remain same i haven't changed just a minor change i have done is that in the text to image there is i have added a new option called model path equals none it means that in my application i am using the models which are available in this models folder and the instructions are available in this model info.txt where you can download all these models because once these models are downloaded on your local machine then using the code available in this stable diffusion.py so there is a new method is created get models from from ui and that's where the local path is available in order to get the models so the base code for this project i have taken from this github repo stable diffusion tensorflow by divam gupta and in this repo the models are used based on the tensorflow models which are already available at hugging face repo so after i have cloned this at my local file system so here is the code where i have copied and looking at the code there is the text to image.py which actually the entry point to generate the image so i will be activating my mini forge base python runtime environment and so here is the command prompt where we will generate moon 2 dot png so this is our command prompt is an astronaut is on the moon surface riding motorcycle and here i'm using the tensorflow version which is uh, compiled for the apple m1 metal gpu our image is generated so we could open the image moon 2 dot png this is how the image is generated and previously i have generated another image with the same prompt and as you could see that these are the images which are generated based on exact same prompt so in the next step i have taken the exact same code and built the gradio ui on top of it so here is the full code where the stable diffusion tensorflow code is packaged inside this web ui code full and the gradio specific code is available in this web ui as well as in the backend.py so that's all i have for you in this video i will be creating the new series where where we are going to implement the python code step by step and learn how we could create the ui which you have seen in this video thank you so much for your time and i'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video until then thank you so much